Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can create our own bootable windows 10 usb flash drive now i've got a bit of flu so please accept my apologies if it's a bit hard to understand me uh, but it's pretty straightforward to do okay what we're going to be doing is uh downloading the iso image now this is going to be useful if you want to do uh, a reinstall of windows 10 at a later date you'll have the media to do that it's very important that you do that i think and also i'll be showing you a couple of different methods on how to create your own uh, bootable usb flash drives now you should have had a notification here to get windows 10 updates now if you haven't got that you can always download the version of it anyway so click on this and this will open up another window which will show you upgrade to windows 10 now you can see here before you do that what I'd advise you to do is make sure you have the ISO image so you can make a bootable media just in case you want to reinstall at a later date. Once you've done this uh, you're pretty much good to go. You can just click on this button and it will install uh, Windows 10 update. Now there's a couple of ways again about this. I will do another video on that and it will show you how to either keep your programs and data and stuff like that. But I'd advise you to make a backup just in case something goes wrong. Okay. Now, I've heard rumors saying that if you do a fresh install, uh, rather than doing it this way, that the Windows 10 doesn't activate. And hopefully I can find out a little bit more about that uh, as I test it myself. So we'll cover all this in uh, future videos for Windows 10, okay? Now remember, Microsoft have given a software download page for Windows 10. It's very important that you download uh, the 32-bit or 64-bit or both uh, media uh, ISO images so you can actually burn those uh, and keep those safe. Okay, This is going to be your Windows disk or USB flash drive, so you can use that to fix or re do a fresh install at a later date if you get infected or have any problems. Okay, I'll also put the link in the description for the installing Windows 10 using Media Creation Tool or you can watch this video that all those links will be in the video description this gives you all the information on downloading it and stuff like that okay pretty much um, all the information that you're going to need uh, to complete this task so as you can see here what we're going to do is download that and then start to run that on our system so let's get that started so you can see the media creation tool here I'm going to right click and run that as administrator and this will open up our Windows 10 setup this is uh, two little boxes here with radio buttons. Upgrade this PC or create a installation disk. Choose your language. I'm going to be doing United Kingdom. Now the Windows Home uh, 10 Home is for up to premium. If you've got anything above that, then you want to do the Windows 10 Pro. Now I'm choosing 64-bit here. You can see the USB flash drive. We'll cover that a, late, a little bit later in the video. This is where you can download your ISO file. Now this is very important because this will allow you to create your media uh, so you can reinstall Windows 10 at a later date or do a fresh install. So I'm going to just leave this as Windows ISO. I've sped this up a little bit as you can see, but it's now downloading that. And you can now burn that ISO to a DVD if you wish. There's the path where I've put my file in. Now once you've done that, we can now burn that to a DVD if we wish, or put it onto a USB flash drive. So I'm going to be using Rufus here, and I'll show you the other way as well of doing it. So Rufus is a, a tool that you can use to create your own bootable flash drives. You've seen me use this in my videos before. We're going to be using the portable version here, or you can use the install version depending on which one you want to use. So we'll download that and then we're going to put this onto our desktop and then we're going to run it and then we can create our USB flash drive. Now I'll show you both ways, legacy and uh, UEFI. So first off we're going to right click on Rufus and uh, run as administrator. Now this is the, for legacy BIOS without UEFI. This is for older type, um, type of uh, motherboards and stuff uh, but pretty much just use which one uh, for your system hardware okay you can see there the settings i'm setting i'm going to point now to my windows iso which was in the documents uh, folder just going to pull this down and point it towards windows iso this is the windows 10 iso you can name yours whatever you like now we've got this all set up as you can see this is how you want to set this up for the legacy uh, boot and click start now warning here it will wipe everything on that drive so make sure 
that you've got everything backed up on that drive because it will format it and uh, start to install Windows 10 onto that flash drive. Now I'm using a USB uh, 3.0 flash drive here and I will speed this process up for you so it doesn't uh, take too long. And pretty much that's all now done as you can see. So we can close that off and I'll show you the other way of doing it as well so you can set it up if you are using a UEFI uh, setup which is more modern uh, motherboards and stuff like that so let's open this up first before we do that and I'll just show you what it looks like on the USB flash drive so as you can see here all our Windows files are inside our USB flash drive now once you've done this you can also rename your USB flash drive if you wish you can also do that inside Rufus if you want to I'll just show you how you can do it when it's uh, plugged into the system just name it Windows 10 and that's now changed and that's uh, ready for installing Windows 10 so let's look at the other way of doing it so we're going to right click and run as administrator on Rufus now if you have got a more modern system this may be the method that you need to use as you can see here we're using a, a, a pretty sizable uh, USB flash drive we've got this set up for GPT so what we're going to do is locate the ISO file for Windows and then change some of these settings you can see here we can call this Windows 10 the volume label now this is if you've got a GPT partition okay for UFEI and uh, we're going to change this to FAT32 this time and also we want to make sure that MBR partition is changed to GPT partition for UEFI and then click start this will wipe the uh, drive and the process will begin I'll speed this up for you and that's done pretty straightforward and I'll just quickly show you the files have been transferred across so I've shown you both ways there on which way to do it. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Now also we'll show you how to do this using the media creation tool. Uh, but as you can see there is the USB flash drive there. Now you may have to change your boot order to boot to that if you are going to install there. So let's open up the media creation tool here. And I'll show you how to create a bootable flash drive using the media creation tool. So once that opens up, you want to click on uh, Creation Installation Media for another PC. Click Next. Choose your language. Once you've got that set, now remember Home is for uh, up to premium versions of Windows 7 and stuff but if you've got anything above that you may want to use the Pro version so we're going to set this up a 64-bit you can do both as well if you wish we're just going to do 64-bit uh, here click next now we're going to leave that radio button in USB flash drive and there's the ISO if you wanted to download it which we did in a previous uh, beginning part of the video so we're just going to click on the next button here and you can see uh, there is the flash drive there you can see we've got a, a pretty sizable flash drive you're going to need over a 4 gig flash drive to do this okay so we're just going to click on the next button here and you can see the, the actual path for the USB flash drive make sure that is correct and then click on next if you don't see it you can click on the refresh button but I'll speed this process up and that's it that's been completed now you can use that flash drive once you change the boot order to boot to that USB flash drive and uh, you should be able to install uh, Windows 10 that way okay 
Well, I should be doing more Windows 10 videos in the up and coming weeks. I've only just got home and also I feel rough, full of flu. So I need to get over that before I start really concentrating uh, on a lot more videos. But I will be doing those in the up and coming weeks. We'll do more Windows 10 stuff. As you can see, all the files copied across just fine. This is going to be useful if you ever want to reinstall Windows 10 at a later date. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. This is my uh, forum. If you've got any problems or questions or anything like that, you want to come over there. It's free to join. Uh, there's a load of good guys over there helping out and uh, hope you want to join the community. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. And uh, you can also head over to my Facebook fan page and join over there. It's free to join and it also uh, helps uh, with the uh, community. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I shall see you again in the next couple of days with another video. Thanks again for watching. 